I want to give you a real quick tip of the week. We're today fishing in a, a body of water where there's some high flyers coming through. Those high flyers are those uh, rainbow trout out here in the Black Hills. Um, but that's not unlike uh, the crappie fishing in the late season. So the fish are up in that area and there's a biological reason for that. Right underneath the ice, there's a lot of aquatic insects that have died and their, their bodies um, and the larvae have floated to the top and they become encrusted into the bottom of the ice. And later in the season when we get some rain washing in, the, the insects, the aquatic insects start dropping back down in because their bodies are no longer neutrally buoyant. It's a real easy high protein meal for these fish that are coming through, whether it's a crappie right underneath the ice or in this case like we are out here fishing for rainbows. So, on your Vexilar, even though you're down there, you're fishing in the weeds, you're fishing for whatever it is, for me, I'm almost always gonna pull way up over my head and just jig up there for a minute. And you'll be surprised how many flashes you see. That's why I've got a 36 dead meat here at, uh, because I'm a shorter guy, 5'8". I can get almost eight or nine feet up off the bottom and then come right back down and look for those flashes up there. Don't ignore that empty water. Just because it's empty doesn't mean there's not a fish right over by Isaiah, my man Isaiah over here. So again, I'm Scott Brower, Cold Snap Outdoors. That's your tip of the week. Don't ignore the top water too. As a drill adapter or ice auger market continues to grow, uh, like the pistol bit here, you want to make sure you pair it up with a proper drill. Now, you want to have a brushless high voltage drill. I'm using the DeWalt uh, 20 volt here with a six amp battery uh, with a side handle. Uh, the Milwaukee fuel drills also are a great option. Uh, but if you're looking to get into this market, make sure you have the proper drill otherwise the performance that you guys are looking for is not going to be uh, as good as what you're going to get with the brushless. I'm Troy Peterson, Mr. Bluegill with your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week.